welcome to this video this is my first attempt to film a vlog and this is the third day i filmed the last two days some of my witchiness i like sprinkle throughout my day and um, yeah i tried to capture that on camera and i'm now putting it all together and hope that something presentable will come out of it so i hope you enjoy it i just got out of bed and my breakfast now I want to show you a few things I do to start my day off already a bit witchy because it's for me personally it's like the tiny things you do that make you that make me a witch. I'm not doing like huge complicated rituals like every week. I like sprinkle witchiness everywhere in my day to day life and I thought I would share that. So first thing I do, I will I make a smoothie and sometimes I bless the ingredients I use. Where I like like to like stir my smoothie like three times clockwise because I kind of feel like it gives the whole thing a boost of energy. It's a very easy thing, but if it's effective, why not do it? You can also do that of course with a spoon and coffee or tea. I like to light incense in the beginning of the day because I feel like it gives it also gives me a specific note that I carry with me through the day. So today I want to use sandalwood and rose because sandalwood is very purifying and makes me very easy and grounded and rose is for self-love because that's something I'm working on at the moment. And I then usually like circle it around me a few times and then I put it in my incense holder, this one. I made myself, I don't know, four or five years ago. Still use it, it's still super cute. That's my hand, my right hand. So I'm ready now, like, well, ready, I dressed. Another tiny way how I like to use um, sprinkles of, of magic is with witchy jewelry. And uh, I have at least, today I will wear these two. I made them myself. So this first one, it has sigils on the back. And the second one, this is ocean glass I found in Greece. And I, uh, I charged it to be very soothing, very calm, because uh, the, the ocean made all the edges of the harsh glass soft. And uh, if I need to recharge them or clean them, I usually put them in a huge jar of Himalaya salt I have. Okay, let me... Sorry. So I usually just drop them in there. I'm trying to find another way. I know this works really well, but... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about creating like a tiny station or pottery thingy and myself where that I will fill with different kinds of herbs and salts to charge it and more effectively. Today was a difficult day, especially in the last half of the day, so I decided it's very late now, but I decided to do some shadow work and because I, I want to reflect on, on what happened today. So for this, I will just quickly show you my setup. <laughs> yeah, that's usually how I do it uh, and I like it this way. So I have my yoga mat here, which I'm sitting on. And I have this tiny well with um, beautiful water and just helps me relax a lot. And then I have my candles. One of them went out, I need to replace that. I have a bit of wine and my tiny kalimba here. So how I do shadow work is mostly through art. Uh, that's why I have my art supplies here and we work with watercolor. I also do journaling 
for shadow work and sometimes guided meditation but mostly I do work with art to process and understand myself better and let my shadow speak for itself. So first I'm lighting incense with rose sandalwood because I need some self love. So I do this very very uh, shortly and I do it over myself and then I put it out already so then I would ring the bell and that would mean the session starts because I clean my space with sound so I cleanse and bless it at the same time with sound after that, I mostly like play a bit. So I would play a bit of music. So I also listen to my favorite artists the whole time. I have one specific album. Um, I listen when I do spell work. I listen to it when I do shadow work. I listen to it. Every time I do something witchy, or even not witchy, I listen to this specific album, which I cannot play here. Because I don't want to get uh, copyrighted, striked. So, but I will link it down below. It's, it's perfect for me. For me, it's perfect. So, I would start my session now. Um, I don't want to film that, because it's very personal, first of all. And second of all, I want to... I want to concentrate on, um, on what I'm doing, you know, I want to concentrate on, on my drawing and I, I don't think I can do that if I, if, I, if I know that I film at the same time. So yeah, but I wanted to share this with you, give me a little break. Uh, shadow work can be intense, never staying in the same spot when I do spell work or any kind of work. So at the moment I'm taking a little break to, to breathe, maybe dance in my room, give you a little reacting how I'm uh, how I'm usually uh, working without working so okay let me show you so this is how far I got I just was too tired at the point so we kind of yeah so we we kind of said okay let's continue tomorrow it's kind of shocking i think i see like it's so much you know pain for example tiny this one here this structure that self-denial yeah there's lots of things going on my shadow had a lot to say and um, it was quite hard i feel like i am giving my shadow a voice of some sort and even though it's like really uncomfortable i think it's very important I mean, that's the point of shadow work, right? That we are not doing it because it's fun. So, yeah, I found this way to communicate and process a lot through art. And even though I like to journal as well, this is like the best method I found for myself. It just... It also not only helps me to understand and communicate, but it also releases a lot of stuff. So I can feel it if I paint I can feel whatever whatever I'm painting with, like the intention I'm painting with, I can feel it leaving my body through my arm, my hand onto the canvas. So it's very relieving on top of that. So I'm very happy I found this way to, to approach this. And uh, maybe I wrapped it to you, how it goes, maybe not. And um, actually, so I'm painting like this up, I'm painting up. But I hear some some notions that it's actually supposed to be read like this in this way happens. Um, I don't question it. I, I just do it. Could also be that it changes at the later point, but that's how it is at the moment. So I just took a shower, and the day is almost over. And now I'm going to approach my night routine. The person I really look up to once said. Before you go to bed, you should do something you want to take with you into your dreams. And uh, that kind of stuck with me, so 
At the moment, I'm trying to play music. Last thing I do before I go to bed and first thing I do when I wake up. To take the music with me into my sleep and to start my day with beautiful, a beautiful melody. So, I have Ten Kalimba and then um, At the moment, I'm very excited. But at the moment, I am. At the moment, I want to create a song for Hypnos and to play it for him before I go to bed. Um, and I'm kind of nervous, but also excited about this. And I want to share it with you, obviously, because the song the song is just for him. But this is like one thing I I do every night. Um, Sometimes I just play and sometimes I sit and think about uh, how to go further with this song. Yeah, so I will do that now and then I will go to bed.